Okay, on the Chalupa lovers, welcome to Spire Go Test. So I was looking at Jose Arnaiz, the 22 year old left mid who says a 74 overall. So, four star Skumos and four star weak foot, pretty solid for a winger that's uh, physically pr very good at pace and agility from the start, also with 85 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 83 agility, and 82 bounce. Can feel pretty good on the ball from the start. They're also 68 stamina and 60 strength, mentally 69 reaction, 68 composure, 75 attack position, and 65 vision. Now, moving on. On to those cycle stats here 72 ball control, 68 crossing, 77 dribbling, 74 finishing, 66 long pass, 73 short pass, along with 82 shot power, 68 long shots. So, pretty solid technical stats there from the start, but you definitely see some growth all around there, especially to that short pass. Uh, and the finish is going to grow quite a bit, also. So, we'll take a look at his play information here as well. So, you can see his height, his work rates, and all that. So, 5 foot 9, right footed, medium, medium work rates, and again, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skin, which is very solid for a winger who can also definitely be a striker for you. Uh, I always like to have strikers with at least four star a weak foot. So if you don't play him in that spot, that would be really ideal in my opinion also. So a plus two is overall the in that first thing with a plus three to his pace. Attack position up by two points there also. And technically, uh, we'll take a look at that growth. So it's two cross, dub two, um, by two with his crossing and dribbling. Plus nine long pass, plus one short pass. Other than that, just really not too much growth there technically and physically. And his growth again was pretty stagnant. Just two plus two in, in two seasons. Uh, you can see physically plus one acceleration, plus two sprint speed, agility up by a point, stamina up by two, vision up by three at least. So uh, a little bit of growth here and there physically, mentally. Nothing too huge though like I was expecting. Technically, ball control and crossing up by three points, uh, finishing up by five, short pass up by three, long pass up by six. And you can see some a little bit of growth through long shot. Uh, shot power in volley. So now up to the 80 overall, age 25, so up by 6 in 3 seasons. I was a bit surprised. There's usually at least you know, a plus 3 uh, thrown in there, but uh, just was a bit... The pattern was definitely noticeable at least. So technically, uh, you can see ball control crossing up by 2, finishing up by 5, plus 3 long pass, plus 5 short pass. Uh, so pretty solid there uh, with those gr that growth technically up to the 82 overall at age 26. Around this point is usually when uh, midfielders hit their potential. So I was a bit surprised. Obviously, he's a bit older. Age 22 with a, pr a decent gap in Old Norrell's potential. Still expecting him to hit his uh, potential by now though. But ball control up by 3 along with the dribbling, finishing... Uh, good growth passing up by four so still very good improvement technically and physically as he's now up to the 84 overall at age 27 still actually has not hit his potential yet uh, you can see physically stamina up by two acceleration up by a point mentally erections attack position vision up by two points and technically some good growth though uh, to the crossing up by four short pass up by four also uh, just was expecting a little bit more growth though to that ball control dribbling as you can see he's age 28 actually did not grow anymore uh, so you'll see uh, the Sofifa basically popping up. He actually missed his potential by two points here. I was very surprised. First time I've had this happen. Uh, so I actually tested him twice because of that. This is the second time testing him. The previous time he did not hit his potential either. Uh, but you can see pace at the 90 mark. 85 agility. 83 bounce. 74 stamina. Mentally 82 attack position is pretty solid. 74 vision and 74 reaction. So you may want to definitely think about training him at least after the second season or third season if you do want him to get to that pinch a little bit quicker. Uh, he's a bit on the older end also. Uh, so that may factor in why he didn't hit his potential. But technically 80 ball control. 81 crossing. 84 dribbling. 87 finishing. 90 long Long pass and short pass, 86 shot power, 73 long shots, 72 heading accuracy also. So pretty solid all around there technically. Just ball control did not grow as much as I expected it to, to be honest. But 82 is a striker, 83 is a center forward, 83 is a cam, uh, 84 is a winger, 84 is a right mid, left mid, obviously. So he's pretty well run attacking player in general. Just unfortunately fell short as a potential. With again, this has not happened before really. So five foot nine, right footed medium, medium work rates, four star weak foots. And four star skimmers ends up adding that speed to specialty on him. So you can see over the years, crossing and finishing up by 13, short passing plus 17, volleys up by three, and only a plus seven of the dribbling. That would have gone up by a couple points along with the ball control. He probably would have hit that potential. So as you can see, only plus eight ball control, but up by 24 was the long pass. Also, pace did not grow too much with the along with the agility, it definitely factors into that overall. So acceleration up by five, sprint speed up by seven, agility up by two. Uh, just a plus one to balance, plus five reactions. Stamina up by six. Long shots up by five. Uh, mentally, a positioning with a plus seven. Vision with a plus nine, as well as a little bit of growth there to the penalties. So, again, very surprising uh, that you not hit that potential, but still ends up being a very good attacking player regardless. I definitely would take a look at him. Can slot all over 
around that midfield. Cam, center forward, striker, left mid, right mid, left wing, right wing. Of course, four-star weak foot and four-star skin, which definitely comes in handy. Ends up with some very good pace, solid agility balance, decent dribbler, uh, a great passer and finisher, and a good crosser also. So an ideal player uh, can definitely be effective along those wings as well, essentially. So with that, my beautiful Chalupa lovers, thank you for tuning in. I love you all. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.